You got a great idea, but you can't find a lender willing to invest in it? Well, listen up. Bridgeway Capital is celebrating 20 years in our region, helping entrepreneurs do just that. Mark Peterson is CEO of Bridgeway Capital, and, and welcome. Good to see you, and congratulations, 20 years. Thanks, it's good to be here, Bill. Yeah, well, uh, for folks who don't know it, what exactly is Bridgeway Capital? We're a fund that invests in small businesses and nonprofits to help create a thriving region in Western Pennsylvania. Okay, I know you were there at the beginning. Tell me how it came about. We put together some money from religious institutions, uh, religious in, uh, churches, and communities of religious men and women to create a fund that would help the region recover from everything that happened here in the 80s. So it was really a response to the collapse of our industrial economy. Yes, you know? yeah, and a desire to help the communities that really suffered so greatly over that period of time. So how wide a geography do you serve? We serve 15 counties in western Pennsylvania, so up to Erie and to the Ohio and West Virginia state line. Now you talk about you know church organizations initially putting in money, uh, and I guess you've grown your capital base over the years. Right, we've expanded to $55 million in capital under management, and now we borrow from banks and get funds from the federal government, the state government, and foundations. So uh, what's a typical loan for you? A typical loan, uh, an average loan is $150,000 to a business that has some money from a bank but needs to grow beyond its collateral base. We do a lot of smaller loans for businesses that are starting up and can't get bank financing or maybe have some issue in their history that makes a bank uncomfortable and we believe in their promise and can come in and help them get started. Or so that, that's kind of your niche because we have some of the nation's biggest banks here. We've got a lot of great community banks, savings and loans, credit unions, the whole, but you get involved when the, the commercial banking industry just can't. Yeah, right? that, that's a good way to say it. Uh, we, we're just outside the margin of mainstream banks. So uh, uh, somebody with a good concept but some problems in their history can come to us and get financing. We often work with a bank so we'll supplement a bank loan with our capital to give the business the capital it needs to grow. So you kind of you can kind of look beyond the numbers a little bit. Yes, we look for people with promise and vision and integrity as well as looking at their collateral and their credit score. So we look beyond the things that the bank considers. It's a little bit like that stereotype of the community banker on the neighborhood banker on the corner, right? Well, it's, it gets me back to it's a wonderful life, right? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. That, that's exactly right. Looking someone in the eye and meeting them and getting to understand their past and their vision for the future is a very important part of what we do. Establishing a relationship with them is very important. It enables us to go on and work with that business and provide them help with management and accounting and marketing. That's another thing that distinguishes us from conventional sources of capital. Oh, really? So you'll kind of engage with the company and help them learn what they don't know to make sure they succeed? That's, that's correct. Creating a successful entrepreneur is a, an important part of our mission, and we can provide the educational resources, connect them with resources at universities that are also designed to help them become better business owners. So how many uh, businesses have you invested in over the 20 years? We've made 663 loans, totaling $72 million. All right, and uh, and how many loans might you look at in the course of a year? Uh, well, last year we made 83 loans, mm -hmm. and we probably looked at three times that many. Okay. So we're careful underwriters. We give full consideration to the issues I mentioned before. We want to make loans that will succeed, not only that so that we can get paid back, but because a successful business is what the region needs. So is your success rate, uh, well, you're still in business, so clearly you're making right decisions, right. but on a comparative basis, you're able to really help these businesses thrive and succeed? Yes, we take losses and we're structured financially to take a higher risk than other financial institutions. Okay. So we're used to operating in that environment, in a high risk lending environment, uh, but we work hard to reduce the level of risk that we're taking and strengthening the businesses in our portfolio. You got a favorite story of somebody that, you know, really made it because of what you all were able to do for them? A great story is Santelli Glass, huh. who opened in 2006 in uh, Manesson. They make residential safety glass. Uh, we made them, a, uh, made them a loan to help get them started. They now employ 53 people in that community and made number three on the list of fastest growing manufacturers last year. Unbelievable, just in a few years. Yeah, huh. they're doing very well. Now, have the dynamics changed? I mean, you, as you, you were part, I guess you're one of the institutions that's been responsible for the Pittsburgh economic transformation over the past 20 years. Uh, but has the, has the way you do things changed as our economy has evolved? 
Well, as the economy has had problems in the last couple of years, we've uh, dealt with a lot more requests for financing. Mm -hmm. So we've had to become uh, more efficient and add people to help us do that. Uh, and our, uh, we've also paid much more attention to us operating a successful portfolio in the last few years and really expanded the education services that we provide to business managers. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a great story. The, the, the organization's called Bridgeway Capital. And I assume if there's an entrepreneur out there with a great idea or a small business owner that wants to expand, they can give you a call? Yeah, we'd be glad to hear from them. All right, Mark Peterson, CEO of Bridgeway Capital. Thanks so much. Appreciate thank, it. Thank you, yeah. Bill. Good to be here. And we'll be back in a minute with a little more dollars and cents. Stay with us.